Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today's video is sponsored by Grub Terra. But before I get into Grub Terra, this is also a video about our chicken run and how I adapted a chicken run to our coop. Now back to Grub Terra. Grub Terra is a sustainably produced feed for your pets. They reached out to me and sent me a one pound bag of their chicken feed. And what they do is they basically uh, keep garbage from going into the landfills. And they're sourced in the United States, Canada, Costa Rica, and Indonesia. And they just basically get food waste from local breweries, supermarkets, farmers markets, large agricultural farms. They operate out of New Jersey and they basically grow their black soldier fly larva off of the garbage that would be going into the landfill. So this video is sponsored by them. They reached out, sent me a one pound bag and I really hope you enjoy the video, not only with the Grub Terra, but also with the chicken run. You can find out more about Grub Terra at their website at grubterra.com. Go pick you up a bag of sol black soldier fly larva. And now let's see what my chickens think about it. I'd say Grub Terra was a hit with the chickens. <laughs> Thanks, Grub Terra. Good morning. I don't think I've done an official chicken run video. Um, last October, my wife and daughter went to California. And if you remember in my chicken build video, which I did over a year ago, uh, I built a chicken coop. The chicken coop is the name of the video. But I hadn't, I, we were gonna let them free range. Uh, I hadn't made plans for uh, a run. Well, when my wife went to California, she really wanted the chickens to be protected while I was at work if they were out free ranging. And we've had some hawks come over. We've really had no, tr no issues with predators. So uh, she and my daughter were gone for a week and I started to shoot a video of it. I may throw in some clips here if I can find them. But I realized real quick that since I hadn't planned on doing a run, I had to really figure out where the run was going to be. Like, what was it going to look like? How is it going to complement the coop? And so, this is the run. So what I did was, I, I ran it out from the front. Since the door was on the front, it made the most sense. And I kept it with the same roof line, so it just kind of kept going up in the roof line. And I knew I wanted a, a human-sized door instead of a chicken-sized door to get in there and Give them, some, give them some things to play with and change out their water and stuff like that. So they have a water bucket back there that's full. And then this is their dust bath. They can also get under their coop. I've just put in some fresh um, pine shavings just last night. I did a thorough deep clean of their coop. And by the way, this is the door where we kept the old water or the water we put in in the winter time. It's got a little notch for an extension cord. Automatic feeder, which they need, they need some food. nesting boxes 
or a nesting box with holes for them to get in and out so they can have their privacy ladies need their privacy we men we don't care this is the inside of the coop and there's where their feed comes in a little trough there and roosting bars and fresh bedding so we do the deep litter method and I just cleaned it all out and they are still loving the grub tarot Good job, ladies. Good morning. So I want to thank you again, Grub Terra, for sending that out to us. You can uh, go to their website. I'll put a description in the bottom for your own Grub Terra. And uh, yeah, when they when they sent it out, they sent me an email asking if I would um, try some Grub Terra. And, uh, and I did, um, it's, I'll go ahead and tell you right now, it's not that good, uh, but if you put milk on it, it's, it's pretty good. It's kind of like Captain Crunch cereal, actually, a little bit of milk and sugar. So, but, and then I was reading the email further and, and realized it was for my chickens. So, uh, I guess they get it more than I do. All right. Up Terra. Go check them out. Black Soldier Fly Larva. This is a one pound bag. Is it dark? Focus on me, one pound bag. The ingredients. It is, by the way, if you're a carnivore, it is carnivore friendly because it's just Black Soldier Fly Larva. Which I'm pretty sure that's maggots. Pretty sure. If I'm not mistaken, grubterra.com. One last shot of the coop and the run. What I didn't mention, it's got lights. I strung up some solar lights in the coop. There's the solar panel. And I did have a swing hanging right there so my wife and daughter could sit in the swing and hang out with the chickens if they wanted to but we take it down when they're not doing that um because we don't want chicken poop in the swing also uh it took me a week to build the run like it took me i got so frustrated like how do i how do i do this how do, I do this i said i figured out within a week and that's why i didn't film anything I was like, I don't have time to film this. I've got to get this thing done. Because when you, when your wife really wants your chickens to be protected, you build something to protect your chickens. So, got it done. It looks amazing. I'm proud of it. Because I am no hacks man when it comes to building stuff. A little shout out to hacks man. Go check out his channel if you want to watch real real build stuff all right thank you all for watching and i will see y'all on the next one grub tarot <coughs>